Tell us if y'all was popping this D about to react to this vid. This is what's the craziest way you have found out someone was cheating on you. Uh, I feel like this is about to be wild. One of these chicks in the thumbnail is uh, from Bad Girls Club. I recognize her. So we're going to see what tea she got to spill. Um, I personally don't have a crazy way that I found out someone was cheating on me. Uh, it was just normal ways, you know, um, looking through niggas' phones. <laughs> and uh, what else? Um, no, I, I received a, a, a text message before. Uh, one time I've been cheating on a couple times maybe like twice two and a half there's a particular situation where it's depending on who you ask some people consider it cheating others don't definitely cheating in my eyes anyway uh let me let me keep my business uh under wraps let's hear what's happening with these niggas and their business let's watch what is the craziest way you guys found out that somebody was cheating on you March of 2015, I was eight months pregnant and my fiance and I decided to get married. So we didn't tell anybody and we posted it on Facebook later that night. And somebody that was friends with someone I knew made a post about somebody being a liar. So she messaged the girl about it mm. and it was about my husband mm. and he had been texting with her mm. and she sent all the text messages to me with his number on it. He didn't Expose deny him. it, but then he happened? said nothing happened and he was sorry. Mm -hmm. And oh, I just God. sat and cried in her nursery and stayed with him. Uh, about a year and a half later, I was seven months pregnant with our second daughter and he died. And then I went through his phone again oh. and he was still cheating and lying and doing drugs. Yay me. And doing drugs. What is and the craziest guys? way you guys found out that somebody was cheating on you? Five days after my wedding, I was woken up in the morning by an insane amount amazing. of notifications coming from my Facebook. So I opened up Messenger and there was this woman whom I had never heard of in my life claiming that her and my now husband had been in a long term relationship up until days prior to my wedding. Mm. She found out because a student of theirs who knew that she was in a relationship with him reported that he had posted that he was married to me on Facebook. So she felt the need to show me screenshots and, you know, pull out her receipts. And yep, that receipts. was my first day going back to work after my wedding. So, of course, after just having found out that my new husband had been cheating on me for over a year, I then had to go to work and function all day while everybody asked me about my wedding and how wonderful it was. Mm. I stayed with him for two and a half years after that. Uh. We're now divorced and I'm heavily medicated. Oh, what is the craziest medicated. way you guys found out that somebody was cheating? The moral so far, <laughs> y'all, is the day that I was engaged. engaged. Yep. So the day that I was engaged, three days later, I post a video and I posted on Instagram. Within two hours, people were tagging it, following it, and it had like thousands of views, right? And it had hundreds of comments. Then all the girls start to surface up and be like, hold up, wait, he's engaged? Mm. How long have you been with him? And they start messaging me and DMing me. One girl told me she was with him for like about a year. Sends me all these pictures. Sends me all these videos. These dirty like texts that they were like sexting and shit. This one girl was kind of keeping tabs on when she hung out with him. And had DMed me and everything. And showed me like their messages. And they were planning to fuck two days after my birthday. My fucking birthday. Like, are you serious? This really I'm happened to me. And I had to <laughs> take a mental Person, like, my birthday? What did I do with anything? Some people are asking for a part oh, two. Oh, yeah, there's more. I do need to explain a little bit better on, like, how it happened and what happened. Uh, reminder, I was also engaged in February of this year. So this is the video, guys. I ended up getting 5,000 views within the first hour. I was engaged the day of Valentine's Day. I had actually gone to Poland I know you fucking lying. and does not speak any English at all. Bitch, what? So that was my fault. So this is one of the girls asking me how long I've been together with him. And, you know, this is me responding and, you know, me finding out Wait, that he's with he this girl English. amongst, like, 20 other girls. We need this was a... You know, screenshot of them talking to each other. I had to crop a little hard into it because I decided to send a dick pic. This guy was mentally and physically abusive as well, and I just couldn't take the. First of all, he was crazy, crazy as fuck. Well. That's why I had to get a culture girl. Okay, so I've made like three of these already. Look at all these baddies getting cheated on. So, 
people being tracked and down on me. His cousin and his cousin's girlfriend came over to my apartment and stayed the night. And um, then in the morning they left. And of course we're all drinking. And so the next day she was messaging my boyfriend. His cousin's girlfriend was messaging my boyfriend. Cousin's girlfriend. And um, okay. he was still logged in on my phone. So I was pretending to be him. And I'm like, what's up? And she's like, oh, can we talk? Just you and me. And I was like, pretending to be him. Sure. And she's like, I just wanted to know, I thought you loved Mimi. I'm Mimi. And um, I put, I do. And she's like, well, then why did you have sex with me last night when everyone was sleeping? Mm. Yeah. What is the craziest way you guys found out that somebody was cheating on you? So preface, my hair was, so it was his birthday. And we were talking for damn near six, seven months. I finally posted him because we were private. And then I come to find out, um, some girl wrote up and goes, why are you on a video with my man? I oh. said, girl, this is my man. What girl, are you talking this about? Is my man. Come to find out he was fucking with both of us for the same exact time. Fucked with her a year before he met me. Came to my house, would put her on do not disturb, go to her house, put me on do not disturb. Leave her house, come to my house, bro. It was a whole fucking mess. A whole mess. He had us both thinking that he loved both of us. What type of time? Wow. Boys are not shit. How do you what have the, the time? Way you guys found out that somebody was cheating on you. And the energy. So preface, my hair was. So I was actually at my girlfriend's house, sitting next to my girlfriend, when I actually had somebody who had made like a fake Facebook account find my Facebook send me a friend request and then message me on facebook telling me to check That's my crazy. girlfriend's chest and of course i'm like what the fuck like it literally was like the most basic facebook account ever there was nothing on it no dates nothing and it was like some profile picture of an anime character mm. well come to find out that the dude that had made this facebook account was actually a friend of the dude she was cheating on me with Mm. And the dude she was cheating on me with was bragging to his friend, saying, yep, I got with this dude's girl, blah, blah, blah. So he decided he was going to message me. And sure enough, when I check her chest, there's a bunch of hickeys there that I didn't put there. That's also the story about how I got arrested for assault and battery and almost got charged with attempted murder. Oh, what is the craziest way you guys found out that somebody was cheating on you? The first time I got treated on was honestly like something out of a movie. All these so women are I was really with pretty. this guy like 10 years ago, childhood sweetheart. We thought we we're going to get married, be together forever, blah, blah, blah. He picked me up one day. We're driving home. We're in traffic. It was like a two hour drive. I asked to change the song because it's linked to his phone and he's being really shady saying I need to download Spotify myself. He finally let me in his phone and I'm seeing all these texts come through from random numbers like Mercedes Benz dealerships and stuff. But <laughs> so they were flirty messages from girls because I could see the preview. Mercedes I clicked open the conversation. There was like pictures of girls in there. He probably even got no bands. He probably had Obviously Make sent it all to myself, confronted him. He denied everything till he's blue in the face. He dropped me home. I was in bits. I was such a mess. I called him that night. He had blocked me off his number and his mum's number. Mm -hmm. But two weeks later, I ended up booking Burberry, my first modeling job. Yes. And my life changed. Yes. What is the craziest way you guys found out that somebody was cheating on you? Good God story. After my ex-husband was incredibly controlling while we were together. Um, he only had access to the bank account. I was never allowed to know like what the bills were Girl. or how much money we had. We shared a phone. We had two vehicles, but he kept one at his friend's house across town on purpose even though I had a baby at the time and was home like 70 hours out of the week by myself because he was working. And I had the phone one night. His boss called at 2.30 a.m. and was like, Adam, where the hell are you? As soon as I answered the phone. And I was like, I'm sorry, and said his name. I was like, I've got the phone tonight. What's going on? And he's like, we've been looking for him for hours and we can't find him. And he's not answering his radio and he worked in a warehouse. He called me back like 30 minutes later and was like, I shouldn't be telling you this and I'll deny it, but we caught him cheating at work doing the deed. Oh, I left. What is the craziest way you guys found out that somebody was cheating on you? So I what do you mean you'll deny it if I was with this guy? If she knows, then you can't. The whole situation was very sketchy. He probably never had me at his house or anything like that. Anyways, so he had gone to a music festival and the whole time he was just being very distant, barely answering me, wasn't even posting that much. So I had a really bad feeling. At this time, a lot of people had added me on Snapchat that I did not know. 
So I started going through these people and adding them all back. Lots of people were at this music festival, so I started going through these people's stories and replay them, replay them, rewatch them, add more people, go through their stories. And by God's grace, in the very background of this random person Snapchat that I don't know, I had just randomly added back, was him standing there with his arms around another girl. So I was like, yeah. Went on his Instagram, went to his recent followers, found this chick that was wearing the exact same thing in this little, little tiny screenshot. I ended up calling him and was like, yo, how's your day? He's like, good. I'm like, oh yeah, I have Cynthia. He's like, part two of my crazy ass. So he's like, I don't even know a Cynthia. I'm like, are you sure about that? He's like, nope, don't know a Cynthia. I'm like, all right, all right. Usually at this point, I give them the benefit of the doubt, but I already fucked him. No. <laughs> I'm like, okay, if you don't know a Cynthia, who the fuck is this bitch? And I send him the screenshot. The silence was pure. It's like angels descending from heaven. <laughs> so I'd already gone and taken screenshots of this girl's profile. So I knew what she looked like, knew what she was wearing. Her and her friend were like matching. And then him and his friend were like matching but different colors. So I'm like, okay, okay you. you don't know Cynthia. Drop all these bet. corny niggas. Send all the screenshots that I have. Her screenshots, his screenshots, the screenshot of them together. And I'm like, there's either, ironically, four people that look identical <laughs> to all four of y'all. Or I am just a magician at Photoshop. Or you're fucking with me. It was like, ah, I didn't even do anything. Blah, blah, blah. And the thing is, when you go crazy once about something like this, this is why we continue to go crazy. Because it's like, I went to this extent before and I was right. Might as well go again. What is the craziest way you guys found out that somebody was cheating on you? It's okay to be alone. So when I was dating this guy, like, oh, two years fine. Ago, I drove all the way up to New York so he can come stay with me down here in Florida. Shit got toxic really fast. Like, we started fighting all the time. Mm -hmm. And mind you, he didn't have a fucking car. So whenever we would get into fights, like, he would just hop in my car and just I know you like, I'm not thinking nothing of it because he's not from here. But my no. suspicions started to grow when he would leave and then come back in the middle of the night. So, he used to smoke a lot of weed. So one day, I rolled up his blunt for him. I put hella fucking Keith in it. And I got him high as fuck so he would knock out so I can go through his phone. So I'm in his phone. And I guessed his password to his my eyes only. Guess what I fucking seen in there? Pictures and videos of him hooking up with my best friend's boyfriend. Okay, let's win your best I tell you, I okay. whooped him like he was my son. Period. What is the craziest way you guys found out that somebody was cheating on you? Okay, so I've always had super high okay, intuition. So when I was 18, my boyfriend went away on this cruise. And the whole time he was gone, I was having weird dreams. I had this weird feeling in my gut. And when he came back, he started acting really funny. And I was like, uh -huh, no, sir, I'm not with the shits. So I started becoming Inspector Gadget. And I hacked into his AIM because this is how old the story is. AIM was the thing. Why is his the AIM password the was HotDog123. I repeat, I guessed his password was one hot dog one two three to this day i don't know how i figured it out i'm telling you i'm low-key psychic i got into that some girl from the cruise was blowing him up and was like oh my god i can't wait to kiss you again and i was like well i forget can you remind me what we did and she broke it down so i had ended up having a mental breakdown and then printing everything out on a really printer nice. driving up to his crib and shoving everything in his fucking face <laughs> yeah what's a really weird thing like bitch niggas people it's okay to be alone it's okay and i'm speaking to myself as well because i've definitely been a dummy in the past trust and believe me i am not free of uh stupidity <laughs> you know it's a lot of time when i be preaching i've been preaching to myself as well or at least my past self and things that you know i've been through because you know I i've definitely been dumb and i've gone back to someone who kind of cheated or yeah, again depending on who you ask <laughs> And bad decision, bad decision. And usually cheaters, they continue to cheat. I'm not saying people can't change at all or ever, but the odds are very, it's very unlikely that they are going to stop cheating, especially if you took them back. It's like, oh, she already took me back, so I might as well keep cheating. Like, if she was, you know, cool with it, apparently, then I'm gonna keep doing what the fuck I'm doing because by you going back to them, you are telling them through your actions that you're okay with it that okay you could cheat on me and we could still be together uh these were very interesting stories all these women were beautiful the guy they showed beautiful and and look so don't ever feel like you exempt from being cheated on no matter how attractive you think you are it don't fucking matter people cheat on the most attractive people it don't matter uh interesting vid though y'all let me know what y'all thought let me know other videos you want to watch and i'll see y'all the next one i'm laughing because i'm like it's so weird recording on my phone because i don't know where to look 
anyway, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.